we're going to be testing out the Braun Series 3. Is this good enough to give you a good head shave? I'm also going to be comparing the Braun Series 3 to the Braun Series 9, the most expensive electric razor offered by Braun. Welcome to the video and let's get into it. Now I will be showing you footage of exactly how this thing shaves and at the end of this video I'll let you know if I think it's worth it or not but it makes sense if you're interested in buying this thing to check out what we get in the box. Now I paid £30 for this razor. Sometimes you can see it for a little bit more than that but it's often on offer in a lot of the high street retailers so £30 is a pretty average price. Now this is the version that allows you to shave wet and dry. If we open up the box here you'll see pretty much no frills. We've got the razor here, no carry pouch or anything like that, just the razor. It does come charged, which is pretty nice. And in there you see you've got the standard charging lead that will plug into your shaving socket. Comes with your little pamphlet, of course. And that's about it. If we quickly compare that to what you got with the Braun Series 9, a much more expensive product, but it came with a carry pouch, the cleaning station, a lot more came with it. Back to the Braun Series 3, let's check out the design. Actually, a pretty similar design to the Braun Series 9. I will note it does feel slightly cheaper, but size comparison, there isn't much difference. Also the head there, again, it kind of contours and moves to the shape of your face, or in this case, of your head. The bit that does the shaving, quite a similar design. However, I should make you aware that the Braun Series 3 does have a significantly less premium feel. Feels a bit more plasticky. Functionality wise though, you can pull the head off the top there, tap out that hair, rinse it under the tap of course to clean it out. That less premium feel perhaps also highlighted in the sound that the razor makes. If you remember the Braun Series 9 video. Now I don't know why it is so noisy like that. I was quite taken aback by just how loud that thing was. Let's have a little reminder of what it sounded like. And here's how the Braun Series 3 compares sound wise. Still a pretty noisy piece of kit. Does that amount to a lot of power in this razor? The bit that we really wanna know about, how does this perform? Let's take a look. We've got about four to five days hair growth, pretty similar to what I started off with when I was using the Braun Series 9. I tend to shave my head every four or five days, but if you're a follower of the channel, I of course use a single bladed razor from Leaf Shave, literally one razor blade in this thing. Very different to something like an electric shaver. As you see me shaving with this thing, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about why I use something like this as opposed to the electric. So, jumping in to the head shave and... You can see how this thing performs slash underperforms. Totally honest in these videos, and I know when I use something, if I like it or not, pretty much straight away. Now, I applied a normal amount of pressure that I would using this razor on my head, and with one pass, I kind of thought, has it even cut anything? Try again. It was kind of difficult to get that really clean cut line without going over and over the same patch. But I gave it a chance and I kept going with the head shave, kind of trying to disregard the filming and just focus a little bit more. Right, how is this thing actually shaving? As I was going over it more and more, okay, I thought this is actually not so bad. It's getting the job done eventually. But my first impressions, it really didn't cut the mustard. I kept going and I did get the job done. So yes, you absolutely can shave your head with this thing. However, I wanna talk a little bit about the fact that I had to go over my head, over the same area, over and over again. And if you know anything about irritation, that is exactly the problem. The more you need to pass those blades or anything over the surface of the skin over and over again, that rubbing, the friction is exactly what gives you that irritated feeling. And after I'd shaved my head completely here, I can notice that slightly sort of hot sensation, especially around some of the more sensitive areas, the back of the neck and at the sides there. Now, speaking of the sides, guys, one of the downsides of shaving with an electric razor is, of course, I don't know if you can see there, but these bits behind the ears and here, if you don't wanna cut into your beard, 
can be quite difficult to get those bits down to as low as you need them. To kind of finish up that point about needing to go over it over and over again, that's exactly why I shave with something like this. And if you're interested in the twig razor from Leaf, check out the links down in the description box. I can pretty much pass this over my skin once, a maximum of twice, all the hair is gone. There's no need for all this repetition going over and over and over and over, just causing the whole shave to be uncomfortable and leaving that sort of long lasting stinging sensation. How does this thing compare to the Braun Series 9 then? It had been a little while since I'd used the Braun Series 9, I was interested to see how it compared. I noticed straight away going from the three to the nine that the nine is quite simply a much better product. If I just play this footage out here, You can probably see for yourself the difference in performance between these two razors. I pretty much finished off with the Braun Series 9 and going on this side, especially at the back of my head there, you know, I could just feel that overall it had done a better job. Now, not to say shaving with the Braun Series 3 is impossible, but does it give you a really good head shave for a nice cheap price? Not really guys. If you're looking for the best electric razor to use for shaving your head, I'd probably give the cheaper products a miss. On that note though, I do wanna say I've got a video coming, the truth about these bald head shavers of which there are quite a few on the market now. Does a higher price with some of these new kind of bold head shavers, is that high price justified? I wanna talk more about that in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to not miss that one. So guys, to conclude this video, I hope that helped you out a little bit if you're searching the market for what products to buy that you can use to shave your head. I hope I showed you clearly the difference between the cheapest electric razor that's offered on the market by Braun versus their more expensive one. I have to still say that out of all the electric razors that I've tried, it's kind of annoying that it is that expensive, but the Braun Series 9 probably still is the best one that I've used. Despite me being a fan, of course, of the wet shave with the razor, again, I gotta shout out Leaf Shave for sponsoring the channel. When I did this poll, it seems like there's a real mixture of tools that guys like to use. I'll continue to check out some of these products to help you out a bit. If you've got any products that you want me to check out, review, Drop them down in the description box. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching as ever. And I'll see you in that next video. Goodbye. So don't pull that off if you get one.